I am such an organization junkie and this makes my heart flutter with happiness. Hey guys, so today I figured um, we would attempt to do a weekend vlog. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Taylor. I have a four, oh my gosh, she's 15 months old, nearly in a few days. So we have little Peyton over here. Um, and I am gonna be 33 weeks pregnant the week that this is possibly posted. So um, what do we have to do? Today we have a four year old birthday party to go to later this afternoon. I really wanna go to Ulta because I ran out of my favorite nail system. Sorry if you can hear her toy, which is the OPI Infinite Gel, I think is what it's called. I don't know, I'll have it linked below. I'm obsessed with it and the last two bottles I had went bad. So I need to go pick that up. Jeff is at work today, it's Saturday, and then unfortunately his work has been so busy so he had to go in today. But besides the birthday party, like I said, I wanna go to Ulta. I have to record two videos this weekend. I am recording baby's name reveal and also my newborn haul slash giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Actually, those videos will be up before this one is posted. So if you wanna check out those videos, I'll have them linked below. I would like to be able to set up this cube organizer for baby boy. This will be going in the closet. So I would like to set that up. She's playing with a little ice cream cart over here. So we are moving. If again, you're new here or you didn't know, unfortunately I'm not able to get like the full nursery set up, but I have some ideas set in place to at least hold us over until we're in the new house. Baby is gonna be here around Thanksgiving. So we only have about six more weeks or so, which I'm so excited. And the house won't be ready till like the first week of January. So I have to hold out for about a month and a half. We're gonna be putting all of his stuff in Peyton's playroom. This would have been the nursery if we were staying here. And the dresser that I picked out for him, I was going back and forth with so many. I am a big lover of Pottery Barn, but I just can't justify spending that much right now. So I've really been looking to the looking into the IKEA Hems Hems dresser. It's the eight drawer dresser. I've seen amazing reviews and pictures like on bloggers, sites, and things like that. So that's the dresser we're gonna go with. We may pick it up tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next weekend. But I would like to pick it up this weekend if we can. So we may be doing that tomorrow. And I will be posting a like baby organization prepping for baby video. One of you guys did request that and then it's definitely on my list. I have a list of no joke, probably 40 different videos over the coming months. And that will definitely be coming because I know those are super helpful for other moms to be or other mommies out there. So my thought for the playroom is I'm kind of holding like all of his junk in the closet right now, like all of his clothes and things that I've bought for him. We're gonna put this organizer in the closet. And then we have this media council that we had in our old house that I've repurposed to hold all of her toys. So that will be staying in here, but I think I'm just gonna put it along this wall over here and then figure out what to do with these toys and then put the dresser where this is because it's actually a very substantial dresser in terms of length, which is good because it can house a lot of stuff. So yeah, that's what we're kind of doing in terms of like making it work until we move. And holy crap, I'm rambling so much right now. But that's what's going on. My hair, I'm having a really good hair day. I've gone back to what I used to do, which is like curling and then pinning it up. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on this, I can do like a video or like chatty get ready with me type of video. So if you wanna see that, leave a comment down below and let me know. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out. I still need to get ready. Here is the bump. I am to this stage right now where my shirts no longer fit me and I just have zero Fs right now in terms of like getting new clothes because after this baby, we are no longer having any more. So I really just don't wanna invest in any new clothes. So rocking the midriff, which is so sexy, I know. 
So yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. We'll probably leave for Ulta in 20-ish minutes. I just want to make sure she has a nice full belly before we leave. So we just got home from Ulta and having a little lunch. Jeff is still at work. So we're just waiting for him to get home. It's nearly one o'clock. We did go to Ulta. Did I just say that? I feel like I have pregnancy brain. And I got what I needed. I realized as I get older, well, that was an attractive angle, but but I'm making a little bit of quesadillas. I made some ground turkey the other day with some taco seasoning, some peppers and onions. I sauteed them and that was pretty much it. And I'm just gonna add some Mexican cheese and call it lunch. And another thing that drives me crazy, I don't know about you guys, but people who are just, I don't know if they don't have kids and they're just oblivious or they're just not aware of their surroundings, but like, Whenever I see somebody with a stroller, I try to help them, like, open the doors, hold the door for them. And as we were walking out of Ulta, there were two older women in front of us, like, literally five feet in front of us. And they totally didn't even hold the door open to the point where it basically, like, closed on us. And I don't know, that stuff, kind of stuff just, like, drives me nuts. Like, just have kindness for others. Be aware of your surroundings. I don't know. But she's gonna go down in about an hour. I'm gonna paint my nails. I'll show you what color I ended up getting, but I'm gonna enjoy my food and just chill out until uh, she's done eating and then put her down for a nap. All right, so Peyton just went down for a nap. She, whew, she needed a nap. Um, but I'm gonna paint my nails and as a mom, I like to do like all of my self care and decompressing while she's napping and when she goes down for the night. This system dries super quick. So if you're a mom and you need your nails to dry quickly, I highly recommend this. So this is what the system looks like. It is the Infinite Shine. I just bought the like duo pack, but you can buy them individually if you run out of them individually. And then you can use, I've learned over the years that you can use any type of color. You don't have to use the Infinite Shine color, but this is just the one I ended up going with. And their color that goes with the system has the silver top. Normally OPI has the black top, but I've used Essie with this. I've used Zoya with us and I've never had an issue with them like chipping sooner or anything like that And I think these are like a dollar or two more expensive. So just go with whatever color you like I want to say this is like $20 and this is 12. So it's Basically the cost of one like gel manicure, but it lasts me a good 10 days or so it Stays shiny the whole time just like a gel manicure and yeah, it saves me a lot of money and the long run because I don't have to go all the time obviously I'm just paying for like the little system up front and then what else was I gonna say oh and then of course it's a time saver because I don't have to go and sit in a chair and get my nails done even though that is very nice and I think I'm gonna do that before baby comes get my nails and my toes done definitely my toes done but the color I end up going with is called it's a girl which is kind of ironic since I'm having a boy it's a really sheer pink color it's a little bit more pink in person, but I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails and enjoy doing it. <laughs> party Peyton had so much fun there was probably like 20 kids there and she literally played the entire time but Jeff and I are tired um so I am getting some stuff ready for the name reveal video and I have this really cute scrabble set that I found at it was either TJ Maxx or home goods maybe two years ago and I actually style it as home decor as I've never actually used it but I thought it'd be cute to pull the letters out for the name reveal so I'm gonna do that and then Jeff and I decided that we're just gonna get the Ikea dresser next weekend because we're not gonna put it together tomorrow and I just don't want it taking up more space in the playroom because my mother and father-in-law got her 
in that little kid craft box you probably saw earlier next to the Target box her Christmas present already delivered to the house. They bought her a kitchen set. She's gonna absolutely love it. Anytime I take her places um, that have like play kitchen, she's obsessed with it. So I can't wait to give that to her for Christmas. So anyways, I'm gonna pull out the letters for the video. I was hoping to record it tonight, but it's already getting dark because of daylight savings. Definitely gonna put together the Target cube. I would like to record in front of it for the giveaway slash baby haul I'm doing tomorrow. And actually I'm surprised with how good the lighting is in here at like 6.30 at night. But I'll give you a little sneak peek of the letters. I'm gonna pull out. So some of the letters I'm gonna pull out. Hopefully I'm assuming I'll have them all but that's a little sneak peek. If you haven't seen the name reveal, I will link it in the corner and I'm talking kind of quietly because Peyton's room is right next door. Okay, so I just opened up the box and I'll have it linked down below if you guys are curious to see what one it is. And I actually built this same one for Peyton's closet for all of her stuff and it was amazing to have. Hers is the six cubby, this is only the four feel like for newborn it was good to have the six cubby but now um she has a lot of empty cubes which isn't a bad thing and she'll probably grow into it too when she's a little bit older but i feel like baby boy probably only needs four cubby because boys just don't have as much things as many things i'm gonna see i don't remember it being too difficult so we'll see how hard it is to put together but i didn't end up going with like the more wood grain one peyton has the white one and I thought it was really, really cute. I love the finish of it. So let's see how hard this is. When I call up, up to say I'm in town, I get a notion that we both walk the same ground. Been traveling all over, searching far and away for a sign to leave. We walk together down the streets of our home It's been forever, a long time that I've been gone The feelings come easy as we start a new day And I know what I should say I just got done, it literally took me, it says I was recording for 18 minutes Which probably means it took me 15 minutes with the reading of directions stepping out of the room real quick and messing with the camera so 15 minutes to put together this cube organizer which i am obsessed with totally do it yourself if i can do it you can do it it's so easy and i love it it's such a great organization piece for any nursery or kids room so you guys can get a little sneak peek i'm gonna put the cubes in here that i'm gonna be using so let me grab those the only thing I didn't do was secure it to the wall. It came with mounting brackets, but because we're moving, I'm not going to mount it to the wall. And we never mounted Peyton's. It's in the closet, and she was never in there, like, by herself messing with anything. We may do it once she gets a little bit older. But, um, anyways, so these are the cubes I bought for it. You can buy cube organizers from Target. I think Threshold, which is the brand that this is, has um cubes but i love the ones from the container store and i think they're at the same price or maybe a little bit cheaper peyton has the same ones as well i'm all about it if it's not broken don't fix it and the system works for peyton so we're just copying the same system for baby boy like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i am doing a like organization for baby so i'm just gonna put the cubes in here but you'll have to stay tuned for that video to see what i put in each cube and then also i got some other things for this but you'll have to see what that is in the coming weeks and i'll have these listed down below if you're interested so they're a nice dark denim blue they're actually a little bit more like jewel toned in person and they just fold out and then you stick this little cardboard piece down into the cube so that it stays Dirty. And another reason why I like these more than the threshold ones is it has this like 
good grip right here. I mean, not that you really need a good grip on these, but I think it's just a nice little added touch. And then they just fit right in there with plenty of space. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, I don't think I did, but when we went back to Michigan last weekend, I had my mother-in-law threw me a su surprise sprinkle. So my mom is shipping all that stuff down to North Carolina. I should get it this week. So I'm gonna be uploading a like sprinkle haul if you guys wanna see that. And some of the stuff that I did get will be going in these bins. So once I get that stuff and I'm able to upload um, the newborn haul, then I'll be able to put some of the stuff away. But the nesting urge has definitely hit probably because I know like all the traveling is done and like all that stuff is out of the way. Now I feel like I can like really focus on getting prepared for the baby. I was the same way with Peyton. I used to have to fly to Nashville for work and I remember my last trip to Nashville after that was over, I felt like I could just focus on the baby. So history is repeating itself. So yeah, that's what it's looked like. It's seriously perfect and then you can put stuff up here too i don't know if i'm gonna end up putting anything up here Ugh, it's like the, i am such an organization junkie and this makes my heart flutter with happiness so for now i'm just gonna stick that right there like i said that's gonna go in the closet but i can give you guys like a little sneak peek of the closet right now because it definitely needs to be cleared out a little bit so this is the closet and there's not a light in here so it may be hard to see what's in here but right now I have Dakota. I'm starting to get some diapers. If you guys want a sneak peek of like the nursery, I found this really cute, it's hard to tell, print from HomeGood. So that's going in his nursery. This is going in the nursery. It's a shelf. I'm debating if I want to get the bigger size, but I need to wait till we're in the new house. That's another thing for the nursery decor wise. And then normally I use these to store blankets, but oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. Since we don't have the dresser, I can't put any clothes away, but once all the clothes are put away, I'm to store like his bigger blankets that family members and stuff have made him. So many clothes. Um, some of it have been given to us. Majority of it I've bought from like consignment stores, but just stay tuned for the baby boy clothing haul because I will be filming that in the upcoming weeks and then down here so this is the skip hop activity center that needs to go up in storage this is a like tp tent that needs to go up in storage i'll probably put his hamper on top of the um cube organizer once it's in here the boppy lounger we're going to reuse for baby and then these are all the clothes that i'm shut that I'm selling on my Poshmark. So if you wanna check out my Poshmark closet, I'll have it all linked below. It's all of Peyton's really good clothes that she either never worn or barely worn. This is all the stuff that I've bought for him and just accumulated in this bin. So that's gonna be what's shared in the newborn haul. And then down here, I have like all of my pumping supplies for the most part and maybe some postpartum stuff. So I need to put that stuff away so I can get rid of that bin. Things are definitely coming along. I'm really excited to get the dresser in here because I feel like once that is in here, I will start feeling more nested and settled. Ooh, making yourself a little cocktail. Coke Zero, baby, just taste this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to incorporate Jeff and Peyton more into my videos because I know some of you have mentioned that you want to see more family stuff, and I agree. I want to see more family stuff on my channel. For the record, when I said taste this, I was just talking about the Coke Zero, not the mixed drink for pregnant Taylor. No. And I hate pop. I know how the internet will ratio you and you like that. I can't stand carbonation. If you're the same way like this video, I carbonation is not it's just like I feel so bloated after I drink it. You and me both. Jeff last night I told him I was craving what was I craving? Um Frost cheese. So we were watching TV yesterday before Peyton went to bed and I was craving grilled cheese because they had um, grilled cheese like in a commercial and I'm like, ooh, that sounds really good. So Jeff said that after the gym, he would go to the grocery store and get grilled cheese and tomato soup. 
So he left and went to the gym, went to the grocery store, and he texted me saying, can you please preheat, preheat the oven to 450? So I knew he'd get more than that. And my gut was telling me that I wanted like pizza. I was like, ooh, he definitely got pizza. And he came home with bagel bites, which is basically the same thing. Bagel bites are my weakness. Weakness. So Taylor and I are like, <laughs> are like opposites all the time. She loves bagel bites. I'm he, indifferent. I like pizza rolls. He does pizza but rolls. But his family the calls them pizza treats. Pizza treats are the best. The first thing that I want to know, leave it in the comments. Are you bagel bite fan or pizza roll this fan? This is important, right? This is like Crips and Bloods <laughs> here. You're not supposed to get along. And the other thing I want to know is do you call them pizza rolls or pizza treats? I feel like pizza treats is definitely like an your family thing. I don't think anybody's going to call them pizza treats. I'd be interested if somebody does call them pizza treats though. So he came home with the grilled cheese and bagel bites. And then I was craving frosted mini wheats. And both pregnancies I get really random cravings for cereal. So last night was one of those nights. So he came home with that. And a pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll was just okay. The pumpkin roll was just okay because it wasn't the traditional like cream cheese filling. It was like basically frosting. It's like buttercream frosting. It wasn't buttercream. It was like that sweet frosting. Mm. Buttercream is more buttery. That makes sense. Um. So yeah. Ow, baby's kicking. What time is it? 7.30. Oh, that's early for him. Um, I made the bomb grilled cheese though. So anyways, really we ate weird. like crap last night and now he wants to finish off the bagel bites. So I'm like, I don't know if they're pregnancy sympathy cravings or what, but <laughs> the last like two months I've just given up on trying to be a healthy person. As soon as, soon as I don't the think you've given out, up on, I think we just have a lot going on between moving, traveling, our family coming down, you're busy with work. I think it's yeah. just a lot. But I could make healthier choices. Um, no, when the baby's out and you're done breastfeeding, we'll be back on it together. My goal, like I'm not gonna really worry about it the first six weeks, because obviously I can't work out and I wanna make sure I have a good enough supply for breastfeeding. But I feel like once I hit that six mark milestone, I'm gonna be, I wouldn't say dieting, but just being more- Health conscious. Yeah, health conscious. Light working out the first um, like few weeks back in the gym after the six weeks is rough. Like you definitely have to take it easy. So I'm gonna do that. Probably a lot of at home workouts in the beginning because it's gonna be hard adjusting to getting out of the house with two kiddos. But Jeff and I were talking, um, he's probably gonna take Peyton to like our gym daycare on the weekends. So that'll be nice to give me some more time to bond with baby like I did bonding with her. But yeah, I'm really excited to get back into cycling because I cycled once a week, or spin, whatever you guys call it. Some people say cycle, some people say spin. Um, up until, what would you say, babe? Like 21 weeks? More, more than that. 23 weeks? I would go once a week and I loved it. Like you definitely get an endorphin high from that. So that will help shave off some of the fat that I've gained during this pregnancy. And I know fat is a good thing for breastfeeding. You definitely need to gain fat, but it'll be good to have that hour to myself of a good sweat. Um, so I'm gonna start editing this video. And Jeff did mention maybe going to Ikea tomorrow and maybe starting to put the dresser together. Our garbage disposal took a dump. So um, he needs, to fix that and i don't want to put too much on his plate because the weekends are definitely his time to relax but mama bear is nesting right babe yep so pizza pizza rolls are cooking bagel bites bagel bites are cooking I'm telling you pregnancy brain hey guys it's a few days later i forgot to close out the weekend vlog we or i should say only recorded saturday sunday we didn't end up doing anything it was super gloomy so we just recorded saturday i definitely want to keep doing these weekend vlogs because i thought it was a lot of fun to film so if you want to keep seeing weekend vlogs from us please give this video a like and i'm going to do a much better effort of including Jeff and Peyton in the weekend vlog. With that being said, um, before I close out this video, I did wanna open up this package because I think you guys would really like it. So a friend of ours and his wife 
make those like really cute wood signs and I asked if they could make us a Halloween one. So it came in really cute packaging. I'm gonna leave her information down below if you're interested in a sign as well. She does custom signs. This was something that she custom made for me. But she also has like a Facebook page of all the different, so cute, of all the different things that she's um, done in the past. And I'll leave her Instagram handle and everything. But this is the sign. I think it's so cute. It says, Home of the Wicked Witch, all her little monsters, and one handsome devil. So I think I'm going to put this in the kitchen somewhere. I'll find a really cute spot for it. So here's a little close-up super well made and there is a little hook on the back actually i might hang this on the pantry door that might be cute too so anyways i'll leave her information down below if you want to check out more of her work so again please like this video if you like the weekend vlog and if you want to continue seeing these from us but i will see you guys in the next video bye guys